What do you get when you add Shane Carden plus Justin Hardy? Besides one of the most threatening quarterback wide receiver duos in the country, according to Twitter, you get Cardi. Here's the story of two of the most underrated and under-recruited stars in the country, who after this year might be playing against each other on Sundays. Uh, you know, Shane's a great guy. You know, came in freshman year. We registered together. We're going to scout team together. We roomed together, you know, had the same major. So basically, you know, it was destined for us to be, you know, this in the lot with each other. We came in kind of both with a chip on our shoulder. These bigger schools were just kind of like, no, nah, you guys aren't quite good enough to play at this level. And uh, we were on scout team together. He played quarterback in high school. And uh, on scout team, we kind of mimic the other offenses. And so when we play a running offense, you know, he'd be the quarterback. And we'd always joke around about who has the better arm. And, you know, from there, you know, our relationship just kind of grown. You know, he ended up playing his retro, uh, freshman year. I, I sat on the bench a little while longer, and we got back together when I started playing. And, you know, on the field, off the field, our, our relationship has just grown stronger and stronger. And it's just fun to just kind of share all this, uh, I guess, success and um, just uh, watch lists and awards. It's just all this stuff with a guy that's just so humble about everything that we do. And, and both of us are just so team oriented. Going from scout team to record breaker wasn't easy for Cardin or Hardy, but a positive mindset and a special work ethic helped them become two of college football's most prominent players. Uh, never doubt yourself, really, you know. Believe in what you can do and, you know, stay to it. You know, um, you get the opportunity, you get that chance, go at it. Go hard as, hard as you can. Uh, just get better. Get better in everything I do. Uh, there's always something you can get better on. Uh, you know, you look at Peyton Manning, he's always still watching film and critiquing himself. And, and that obviously goes the same with me. You know, I have plenty of things I need to get better at. Uh, you know, from watching uh, more film myself to watching other quarterbacks in the NFL and college and, and just looking at my own game and, and stepping that up to, to weight room and getting stronger, faster, bigger. Uh, just at, like I said, anything I can get better at. America sees the Cardi connection on the field, but off the field, life isn't much different. We're always talking up, just seeing what's going on, and, and he's just, like I said, a great guy you can connect with and just a, a guy you can sit down and just talk with. The friendship we have outside of football, you know, is great, so I think that carries over to the field. It helps out a lot. Shane and Justin might be remembered as Cardi, but what they will remember is slightly different. For them, it's their path to greatness and how they were able to leave their stamp on pirate football. Uh, Coach Ruff gave me a chance, let me walk on, and the rest was history. You know, I just took that chip on my shoulder every day and approached it every day and worked hard. Um, you know, it's hard. I just want to leave a legacy that, that people remember me as a guy who came out there every Saturday and just you know, just played my heart out. Uh, just a guy that loves this game, loves this school, that calls uh, ECU my home now, and, and, and someone that we looked at as, as a good role model. Shane Carden and Justin Hardy have already left a legacy at East Carolina, and they aren't done yet. When asked about the Cardi combo, Ruffin McNeil said this in a CBSSports.com article. Understand when I talk about the pride, passion, the tradition, and the focus towards the team concept and the vision of the mission, those two guys exhibit that. Cardi will look to lead the purple and gold to their first American Athletic Conference Championship, and a New Year's Six Bowl wouldn't be so bad either. For the American Digital Network, I'm Haley Outen.